looking beautiful out there. Have a serene looking start here down in Jamestown. Got some light activity, gorgeous skies, and look at the water this morning. Just looking like glass. So an easy commute over the bridges. If you're making your way over state lines in between Rhode Island and Connecticut, looking just fine for those of you maybe leaving the house early, planning a road trip. You're cruising the speed limit over here and in the Providence area. It's looking good as well. 95, 195, however you're commuting into the capital city. Once again today and for the remainder of the week, we're going to be seeing some construction in Warwick on 295 right over by the Providence Street Bridge. Going to start 9 o'clock in the morning until 2 p.m. So watch out for crews who are working in that area. Boston bound, couple of hiccups, a little bit of slowdowns heading north over near Route 3 and then through Milton and Quincy. But overall, pretty easy drive if you are making your way up to Boston. It is over an hour up 24 from 195 to the Mass Pike. A little bit of slowdowns up in the Taunton and Raynham area up 95. Still under that hour mark, 54 minutes. Back to you. You heading out the door. Maybe you're heading up to Boston early this morning. Speeds up 95. Looking pretty good. A touch of slowdowns up in the Attleboro area. For those of you heading up 24, it's slow from Brockton and then as you're heading north. So an hour and 14 minutes from 195 all the way up to the Mass Pike. 295 commuters looking pretty good. Speed still fluctuating over at the state line on 95. Past couple of mornings have been noticing some slowdowns heading north. Right now your speeds are in the 50s. South down 146. You're cruising the speed limit. Route 6 looks good as well as the Washington Bridge. Overall, a pretty nice commute out the door in Warwick. Bright sun shining. You can see this is right over by Quaker Lane. If you're making your way over state lines in between Rhode Island and Connecticut, dealing with that bright sunshine as well. Back to you. If you're headed all the way toward that state line on 195, your speeds are looking fine. Up in the expressway, speeds down into the 20s north of Route 3. If you're commuting through the Attleboro area, speeds down into the 30s. Do watch out for some construction today in Cumberland once again at 9 a.m. This is in between the state line and 122. Have a left lane closure. Once again, a live look 195 right over at the state line where you're looking at clear driving conditions in this area. For those of you commuting along 295 or headed down over the bridges, Route 4, all looking good as well. Back to you. Providence looking pretty good. We do have a stalled vehicle that's pulled off to the side of the roadway on 195 West right over by Broadway, not creating any major slowdowns. A little bit of slowdowns heading east right now from 95, but that's typical this time of morning. Dry, sunny, beautiful conditions on 95. This is right over by Thurber's Ave. You can see cruising the speed limit heading north and also heading south. So overall, a pretty nice commute into Providence from Warwick right now. It's just a nine minute drive from the Mass State Line to get to Atwell's Ave. If you're heading south, that's 10 minutes. You can see your speeds in the 40s, also in the 40s, a five minute commute from the state line heading west over to the split. It's up to Boston where you need some extra time. This drive time actually falling by about five minutes up 24. It's over an hour and a half though if you're headed up to the Mass Pike from 195 in Fall River. 95 commuters, you're at about an even hour and a half if you're making your way from the state line and if you're making your way north, you can see have a couple of issues up there and that's why we're seeing these Boston drive times a little higher. A crash over in the Randolph area, also in Dedham. So once you hit the expressway, speeds really start to drop. Okay, back to you. If you're heading west on 195, it's right over by Broadway. So a little bit sluggish if you're heading west through this area. Heading east, once again, a little bit slow going. This is over by Gano Street. You can see traffic just at a slower pace right now. But other than that, looking pretty good into Providence. Speeds fluctuating over by the Providence Place Mall, 95 through Cranston, looking okay. Have this crash that just popped up on Route 4 heading north. It's right over by exit 9A. Speeds a little bit slower as you're making your way south through that area. Nothing major. That just happened in the last couple of minutes, so we'll keep you posted on that. Making your way over by Oak Hill Road on Route 4, looking good. Over the bridges headed to Jamestown, not tracking any trouble. And over state lines this morning, looking good on 95. No major delays. Back to you. This morning, bright, sunny, a little bit slow going here on 195 heading west. It's right over by 114. You can see some school buses headed in this direction. Last couple of days of school, of course, for a lot of the kids across our area. If you are commuting west along 195, it's a 15 minute commute right now from the state line over to the split. 95 commuters from Massachusetts into Providence, 17 minutes to get from the state line to Atwell's Ave and Warwick to Providence. This drive time continuing to rise heading north now up to about 23 minutes. For those of you who are boss bound you need over an hour and 50 minutes you're getting close to that two hour mark if you're heading up 24 that's from 195 all the way up to the mass pike so for those of you who are boston bound this morning 95 commuters just about an hour and 40 minutes 47 minutes if you're making your way up 95 to the mass pike back to you kate
Let's grab the sunglasses looking gorgeous here on 95 right over at the merge of 146. Some light activity through this area on 146. You're starting to see those slowdowns right over near Mineral Spring. 95 commuters. It's about 122 Lonsdale Avenue where you go from the speed limit down to about 16, 20 miles per hour into the capital city along 95 backed up to Route 37. That's where your speeds drop down to 12 miles per hour and 195 commuters. You're still backed up if you're heading west to that state line. You can see it's an 18 minute commute over here. West Bears, little plugged up over at the merge of 295 and 95 speeds dropping down to only nine miles per hour, but did have this crash on Route 4 clear a short time ago and over the bridges. It's a nice clear commute to Jamestown and Newport. Kate, back to you.